In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install PhoneGap, how to run it through a command line interface using Cordova, and so that we get something like this. This is the test hello world for um, Apache Cordova using PhoneGap. So uh, first thing is um, some things that we need. We need to have, we need to make sure that Xcode is installed and Xcode you can download that from the App Store. In my case I already had it installed and it took a little while but then once I opened it up and installed it it was really easy so pretty easy download right there. The other thing we need is Node.js and it's going to be used to actually download the PhoneGap uh, files and also the Cordova files. So all these things work together, the Node.js, Xcode, and Terminal, so that you can actually produce a, uh, a sample uh, iPhone application uh, using the simulator. So here's the first thing we need to do. We need to go to PhoneGap.com, right up here, and click here, Install PhoneGap. And here, we just literally just copy this. We're going to be entering this through the terminal. And this is where we need to make sure Node.js is installed. Now, on the assumption that Node.js is installed, we copy this, and then we go to our terminal. Now, I've got a bunch of stuff on my terminal, the stuff that I was working on from previous, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fresh install of it. So, earlier I just copied the, the line of, line of um, command there, and I'm going to click, rather, and press return, and then it'll start downloading the PhoneGap files. And there we go, it's downloading right now. It's going to take a little while, and I'm just going to pause it. As it's downloading, you may see some warning signs like this one here. Don't worry about it, it's fine. In this case here, I'm actually installing over top an early install that I had, so there might be some things that might be different on your screen. And it's still going. And pretty soon it should wrap up, and there we go. So it's wrapped up, it's installed. And now the next step is to just go back to PhoneGap and take a look at what else we need to do next. So we just did this part. The next part is we're going to be creating a test app called My App. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go back to the terminal. We're back here at the terminal. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to press Enter. Now, understand that this is actually going to go to, on my desktop. So before we do that, I just want to show you something here. I'm going to ls this. So I had done some stuff from previous, and what I want to do is I want to clear everything off my desktop. So you can see that I had done this from previous, right there, and I'm going to clear that. I'll be right back. So here we are on the desktop. I just cleared the two files there, two, two directories rather, or folders, and we're going to go back to terminal. We're back at the terminal here, and we can find out where we are by typing in pwd. It shows us where we are, we're on the desktop. So now we can go back to what we wanted to do, which is over here, is create the My App test file. And I'm just going to paste it in. And what it's going to do, it's going to create the folder. So if I go to the directory, right to the desktop, we'll be able to see that directory. And there it is. So if we open it up, we see the different files. Now this area here, the triple W, is where we're going to be putting our work files, basically the HTML and CSS and JS files we work with, that's going to be shown in the actual application. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an Xcode project out of this by using the command line. We're going to go back to terminal. Now something to consider is that we're going to be straying away from this particular um, set of instructions because we are on iOS. What we want to do is we actually want to CD over to the My App, we want to add the platform, the iOS platform, and then build it from there, and that way we can run it in iOS. So that's a number of steps, and I'll take it step by step. So let's go to the terminal. So at the terminal, let's take a look where we are, and we want to go over to My Dash App. Let's clear everything just to make it cleaner. And there we are, and what we want to do next is we want to add the platform. We want to add the iOS platform, Cordova platform, add iOS, and this is going to create the Xcode project for us. We'll take a look at that. 
and there we go and we'll go to the desktop to take a look so here we are at the desktop we go over the platforms and you notice there is our Xcode project right there in my app we can then go to the terminal and then build it in order to build it what we need to do is we need to type in Cordova build iOS and it'll start building it notice that we don't have to go into Xcode just yet only when we're pretty much ready to create that application here what we're going to do is it's going to, just going to be a way so that we can actually work with it so now that we've got that let's take a look at how it's going to run and in order to run it what we do is we type in phone gap run iOS and what this does is it'll invoke the iOS simulator now it'll take a little while so I'm going to pause it until we get there so it's executing Cordova run iOS. And we'll wait for this one. So just a quick quick peek, it just uh, opened up the simulator, iOS simulator, and then it's going to load the project that we just created. And it loaded some more, and you could see the actual sort of iOS desktop. Just right over there and it's going to load very soon there we go so it loaded and there we go and there's phone gap device ready so now what we could do is we can then go to the actual file and start modifying it and then running the same the, running the build and then running the uh, the application the simulator and I'll show you how to do that next so we're at the desktop here and it's very important to remember where it says here the platforms unless you have a really good reason the we should never touch the files that's in here especially the triple w files we want to work with this particular set of files in this case here i'm just going to do something to the index file so that it'll reflect in the simulator i'm going to load that into an editing program and bring it over so you can see it so we know that this over here connecting to device device is ready matches up over there so we're going to be changing something here so I want to do something so that it's very apparent that we did something I'm going to go here to phone gap right over there and I'm going to just do this did it work and I'm going to save it and then once we've saved it we can then go back to terminal and compile it so I'm back here at terminal and just by pressing the up arrow keys I can then cycle through my previous command so in this case here it's going to be Cordova build iOS I'm going to press return and it's going to start building uh, the files now once the files are built we can then uh, run it with the simulator And there we go, it's running through. I'm going to pause it. Still going through. Takes a little while. There we go, build succeeded. And then I'm going to press the up arrow key and I'm going to say phone gap run iOS. Press enter. And what it'll do is it'll actually run in this iOS simulator. So it's a very, very quick workflow. And it's a great way to sort of test out your app to see how it works, how it's going to react in the actual uh, in, the, in the iOS simulator now once we're done we actually have to package it up in Xcode by putting in our mobile provisioning and getting an app out of that so we're gonna wait okay there we go and it's opening up the moment of truth here we go yes it did work there's a question that it work and if we go back to our HTML file it'll actually correspond and here we go see that and there it is so that's a quick workflow on how to work with PhoneGap Cordova PhoneGap Cordova whatever you want to call it and it's quite easy now when we're ready to go to actually make an application to submit to the App Store we then have to go to Xcode to uh, to build it to create an app to create a product